everyone, Helen here from Helen Kirk and Crafts and welcome to my craft space. Today's video is all about a new stamp collection from the fabulous artist Linda Ravenscroft uh, in collaboration with The Card Hut. These are mythical creature mermaids and they're really, um, really fun, whimsical, uh, very fantasy based and would work really well in all your different crafty uh, needs and themes. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the camera around show you what you get in the collection and then also give you a little bit of inspiration uh, for how you can use these stamps. What I'm doing is a kind of twist on the watercolour technique and I really think that watercolour works really well with these particular stamps. Thank you so much for watching. Here's the first set, Spring Blossom. In this set you get five sentiments, an embellishment flower and a large mermaid stamp. I think these stamps are a great size and I love the flowers down her tail. And as always with the card heart stamps, you get a full colour image of the stamp, which is great as a colouring guide. This set is called Golden Pearl. You get four sentiment stamps in this collection, plus a scale embellishment, which is fabulous. I love it. It's just like the pattern on her tail, which I think would be great for backgrounds. This set is Sunshine and Showers. I think this stamp is very reminiscent of the Gemini star sign, plus would be great for sisters or best friend cards. This set is the Black Pearl um, with four sentiments. I love that each of these sets have different patterns on the tails, which is very clever and fun for sort of crafting in different themes. This is a Valentine Moon set. Great for Valentine's Day, obviously, cards and things, but also the sentiments and embellishments could easily work with other things in your stash to create other craft projects. This set is called To Dream of Leaves. It has four sentiments. Um, all of these stamp sets work really well for different themes and age groups, which I love, which means that you'll get to use them a lot. Here we have the final set in the collection and it's called Sea Urchin. I like um, with these different sets also that the mermaids are all in different positions, sort of sitting or standing poses, which means they work on different sized cards really well as well. The stamp I'm going to be using um, for the main sort of focal point of the card is Dream of Leaves. These are very large stamps, so I would always recommend using a precision stamping press. I'm going to use watercolour pens, so I'm using watercolour proof ink and watercolour paper. When pressing down, remember um, to sort of do an even press all over the stamp, but don't push too hard because sometimes then it can splay out and give you a double image. Add a little bit of the ink to the top and bottom part of the tail and then use the um, pen to sort of drag down the colour. You want to work in sections. Don't try and cover all of the image with the watercolour pens straight away. And as I say, just use the Wink of Stella uh, like a paintbrush to pull the colour down. This is a great technique for water colouring um, because the Wink of Stella almost acts like a paintbrush with water on it. Uh, but once it dries, it leaves a really gorgeous sparkle within the colour. Once you have coloured all the dark green parts, uh, remember to clean off um, the brush the Wink of Stella brush tip with a wet wipe just to get all that green ink off and then you can continue with the rest of the colours. Try not to colour in um, with any sort of solid lines as these are quite difficult to sort of blend out with the brush. Um, try and do maybe circles, um, nothing too solid straight. Once you have coloured the mermaid tail in, add a little bit of blue to a glass mat or a stamping block like I'm using, any sort of shiny surface. Take some of the colour onto the paper using the brush pen. This is another way um, you can add colour and it creates a sort of softer look than just putting the colour directly on the paper, which is great for the appearance of water. Here is the finished mermaid. Um, I'm just colouring in her skin with the Wink of Stella only, not adding any colour, but obviously you can. You can personalise the images as much as you like. I love the sparkle this technique creates. I, I can see that it's a bit difficult to see on the camera, but I can assure you it is absolutely beautifully sparkly. Take the two circle dies from the die set and stick them together with some low tack tape. 
and you can cut out the circle to create our porthole for the card. Using the larger of the two dies, cut out the mermaid. Using the smallest circle die that you get from the set, um, cut out 11 of each shades of green glitter card. So you'll end up with 33 circles. Glue the circles to a piece of card measuring two and a half um, inches by five and a half inches. Try to make sure to overlap the circles um, as you sort of work up the card, creating the mermaid scales in a sort of ombre look. Allow the glue to dry and then turn the paper over and cut away the pieces that overlap the edge of the card. Add some more um, blue to a shiny surface again. And again, using the Wink of Stella, um, use that as a sort of watercolour brush to create um, a water look on the watercolour card. That's a lot of water. <laughs> Each time, just pick up a little bit of colour and blend all the different blue shades together. I'm also going to add just a little bit of green to give it that more sort of sea-like feel. Now move on to the sea urchin set. Um, add the watercolour background to the stamping press. I'm just using the tail, so I'm only inking that up. Um, it may be a little bit tricky to sort of avoid getting ink where you don't want it. So I'm using a scrap of paper just to sort of cover up bits that I don't want ink on. I'm stamping on the corner and then just moving the paper around, which is easier than trying to move the stamp off of the platform. Matt and layer your background pieces um, on some black card, including a wood panel piece that I've also cut out that matches the wood panel on the porthole. I've got a six by six card blank here and I'm just scoring at three inches to create my Z fold card. I love making Z fold cards actually because um, it gives you more um, layers to work on. You get to put more panels um, of different decorated card. Matt and layer a circle of acetate onto the porthole you created earlier. Um, try and use a sort of static bag or stat static um, powder tool like I am and this will stop any static cling on the acetate um, when you put your glitter into your shaker card. I've just put foam tape around the edge of the um, image of a mermaid and attached the porthole to the top remembering to put my glitter um, and the seaweed that I die cut earlier. Just add some flat back pearls and this is sort of creating a bolt look on the porthole. I love the fact that it looks like um, our mermaid is sort of looking into the porthole um, from the sea. Um, it's a really fun and fantastical uh, looking card and you're getting to use a lot of different things because we're doing that said fold card. And there we go, your card is complete.